Okay, we're in the uh, composite shop. Have a little shop tour here. And up the ceiling, there's a beam, six inch beam going left to right. It's got a trolley on it. And the beam itself uh, rides across this uh, beam at the end of the building. And uh, this other end rides across a beam that's uh, about a third of the way down the building. There's another one down there on the uh, far end. It's a four inch beam, made them out of whatever I had. And what we're looking up here is a uh, composite fuselage mold. It was uh, kind of a cute thing. See, there's number 25 there. They all got numbers. That's 29. Well, they're in order. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 23. I made the uh, prints. Uh, they have really wide lines uh, on the numbers. And I had no idea that when uh, when I took the uh, paper patterns off after I first cut them out, that it would telegraph that ink right onto the uh, parts. It was really easy to keep track of them because all these numbers up here 22, 21, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the hook goes in these, these holes here, depending on whether they want to flip it over or whatever. You can't really tell. It's pointy at one end and it's pointy except for uh, the back end's got the uh, radius of the uh, propeller spinner. And, uh, it's uh, it's made as a top and a bottom. Uh, the front end is out there, the back end back here. Same thing, it's got the uh, shape of propeller spinner here. Maybe this is turned around. This might be the front on this one. I think it is. Yeah, this is the front. You can see how, how uh, narrow it is here. These are uh, one inch pieces of pine. Uh, this strips like you're making a, a canoe or something. Yeah, we're gonna try to get down in one piece. <clears throat> The uh, truck that's parked in here is a, uh, uh, it's a 1987, which means I bought it in 1986. Because they used to put the numbers up uh, six months ahead of uh, uh, what the production was. That's the air tank. The compressor's on the other side, the air tank's over here. Got its own electric in the back. Bunch of breakers, there's outlets absolutely everywhere in here. They're about every uh, eight feet all the way around, a couple of rows of them. And that back there is where I, on that barrel is where I set my scale to mix composites. And there's a chart that's fell down. I don't know where it went. It shows you, you, you dump in what you want for the first uh, uh, component, like component A of your epoxy. And then you see what it says on the scale. And you look on the chart to see what to bring it up to to get the B right. So half of it's easy to measure. You just dump some in. And then you look at the chart. Uh, this truck has gone through a lot of batteries. Well, well, it's been a lot of years. These uh, four-wheel dollies down here is really handy. The, the, the plywood just sets in it. Like if you put the, uh, the wire feeder for your MIG welder in that, uh, and, uh, and of course the welder stays uh, over next to the wall. If I got 80 feet of... Uh, extension cord and a hundred feet of uh, MIG lead and the bottle and everything you don't have to move it it stays right back there with the uh, machine eh. this is general storage right now a couple of ladders one two three four ladders one of the bicycles that's back when uh uh stripes out the air tank 
That's when Schwinn used to make 10-speed bicycles. Uh, their brakes did better than the new ones. And the hubs are much bigger where the spokes go. So the wheels uh, true up better. That's a 28 inch, I think. I got a pair of them. Uh, my, my wife can't ride a bicycle though. Okay, we're gonna stop this and we're gonna go back to the other shop. I have to get the mileage off the other truck. Yeah, we're gonna take a walk down the side of the building. This is the uh, only dump truck we've ever had. It's uh, bed's in good shape. Got a brand new motor in it. Got uh, 30, 35, 35 or 38 miles on the motor. I mean, crate new, not rebuilt. Uh, brake booster and all the brakes are new. Cab's a rusty mess. Interior of the cab's not too awful bad, but the cab on the outside is a mess. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an ex-state uh, sand truck, like for sanding the roads in the winter. But all the uh, suspension parts are new. The little gray truck in there has had a complete chassis overhaul. Every movable piece of the chassis is replaced. Uh, I needed a steering dampener. And uh, when I found out I could still get it, I just bought everything that you could get, and which was everything. It apparently it fits a lot of models. This contraption over here cuts uh, compound curves in styrofoam. It's driven off of uh, um, they're lift motors for uh, the table of a milling machine. I just got one, to, uh, an extra one uh, to duplicate the one I have. And we're hiding the bobcat over here. I didn't like the color, so I repainted it. <laughs> It's uh, 1,100 hours on it, I think. The uh, Alice Chammer's there. That's got one of those ones where the, the, the doors try to kill you getting in. <clears throat> but uh, there are, uh, uh, that one, that's 180 horsepower. And uh, the one we run alongside of it's 160. But uh, uh, it's 15 speeds forward, got eight remotes. I uh, got outside tires, but they're not on there. The guy wouldn't put it on his low boy with the tires. So the tires are out at the farm. Hey, we're going to get it in just a second. I don't want to go back. There's a tractor trailer cab around the corner, International Harvester. And, uh... I don't know what date this was last driven. <laughs> 2013, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. And then here we have some other things. Uh, underneath the bottles and the boxes of uh, bits and stuff. Okay, under that blanket is a uh, a printer. Um, that's six foot wide paper goes in that one. Back in the corner, that's the original printer. You know, it's down behind the, the milling machine. You can see the end of it. That's a Hewlett Packard there. Uh, the other one at the house is also Hewlett Packard. Uh, that's four foot wide, but it's not a dot matrix printer or a uh, inkjet printer. That one uses pens. It's a, it's a plotter, not a printer. So, um, uh, it doesn't, um, do what we're trying to do here, so we don't run it right now. Up there's a bunch of, uh, patterns stacked on top of the cabinet. Uh, that cabinet is, uh, rolls and rolls of six-foot-long fiberglass material, uh, and, and three-foot-long Kevlar 49. Uh, it's S2 glass. There's around 2,000 pounds of it in there. The cabinets have, uh, uh, that over there is single wide doors. Uh, they're, t they're two feet deep. Most everything's made to, to, uh, 
to use a sheet of plywood. I got the uh, the wood that they're made of, all the, the framing material, uh, when we took a sawmill down one place. And uh, they let me have it all. It's, uh, it's not pressure treated, but it's fire retardant treated. So, whatever. Over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cabinets. These are double doors, and they're made to use up all the width of the plywood. So you have narrow doors and wide doors. Um, the, the, the spud that the uh, locks goes through is one inch cold rolled shaft. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff though down in front because we're not in this shop a lot anymore and it makes it hard for somebody to do something in the dark to steal anything but uh, it's, this is full of tools and line trains and stuff what we got back here well Yeah, you can't see that. That's another two-rotor Mazda engine. We use the rotors and the rotor housing and some few other parts off of them. Uh, we make the intermediate housings that connect them all together. So we need a, a three-rotor uh, uh, centric shaft and a two-rotor centric shaft, a fault coupling to go between them. And then the uh, uh, the end plates, we don't make them out of cast iron, make them out of aluminum. The aluminum is uh, MFS research alloy. It's very similar to the aluminum that uh, uh, they used on Vegas cylinder blocks back in the early 70s. You got nodules of silicon uh, in the aluminum when they melt it. They, they throw them in there and stir it all up. Uh, all the lawnmower engines from about 1955 on, they run the piston right on the block. Now I've got a lawnmower <laughs> somewhere here. I bought it, you know, well, my daddy bought it in 1955 still runs and that's got one of those aluminum blocks oh uh this is a uh um two horsepower uh drill press this one's a craftsman uh never had a bit of trouble except uh i uh, had a belt slipping one time I had to tighten the motor this is um uh hitachi table saw uh I think some Hitachi is made in China now, but this one was made in Japan. I kind of prefer the Japan. It's got a real nice uh, fence on it. Uh, I kind of think it's a 12-inch blade. It's got plenty of power, whatever it is. I'd like to have that in the Philippines. <laughs> that's, that's a mower. Uh, Self-propelled, sickle bar type. And what we got going on here, we uh, blue pattern paper in here. We glue the pattern paper right onto the uh, plywood in full sheets, uh, two feet wide by uh, 10, 11 feet long. And then we, we saw out the uh, outer shape. Now, on, this is the third one from the, from the end. So there'll be two more goes on top of this, and they'll fit that the shape of that you see there. So it's going to make a uh, a stack of these blocks that look like stair steps, and then you take the uh, um, a twenty six or twenty four or thirty six grit uh, closed coat disc on a sanding pad on a, a four and a half inch angle grinder like a Milwaukee we got, and uh, you sand it until you get down to the bottom of that notch all the way around. Now, we're not going to have this paper on here, uh, hopefully at the, by the end of today. Um, we have a, a small paint roller here in the jug of water, and she'll roll the, uh, the water over these things and soften the paper up after we transfer these numbers. I'm kind of thinking that number is going to telegraph through right onto the wood, but we're going to put the numbers on the edge and on the back, uh, and then when the paper comes off, we'll put the numbers here. You always have all the identification you can get. Never can hurt. Uh, that truck is the same age as the one we're driving. They're both uh, built the same year. The Nissan's got uh, 8,500 miles on it. It's a two, 
2005. Okay. We're going to end this because we have to write down the uh, mileage that's uh, on this truck. Because I had to break in all my titles, insurance papers, and, you know, wheel, every damn thing got stolen. So I have to get duplicate titles for my vehicles. And we're going to crank this thing up and let it run a little bit while we're here. And, uh, because the gas is, uh, the gas is 15 years old in this truck. So, uh, it still runs on it though. I think it must be really well sealed. And it's got stable in it from Walmart to, to keep the gas from going bad. But we're going to crank it up and run it because it has to be running to read this, this electronic dashboard. Uh, I had to change the radio out in this. Uh, the CD player wouldn't quit going in and out and it drained the battery. So, uh, I bought one that's got, you know, a bunch of GPS stuff and, uh, backup camera and four or five different kinds of aerials goes with it. All we want to do is have a CD player. Don't need any of the rest of it. Anyway, I, I got some stuff to bandsaw and we'll let her film while we do that a little while in a few minutes. Yeah, if you want to pause, can we pause? Like it's working right now. Try not to touch any of the buttons on the edge, it'll go off and do something else. Hi, George. Hey! hey. <laughs> okay. I want to hide. I need a. Well, people can't recognize me. Oh, really? <laughs> So we are using the um, wood tech. What do you call this wood tech? Uh, Bandsaw.
like a white gray and uh, like a sharper curve. Template. Uh, they're cutting styrofoam with a 18-volt uh, variac set on 18 volts, so it'll go to 250. And about 11 amps, nice warm wire. these things are, but uh, I think all my half-inch blades are for metal. This is a, a multi-speed bandsaw. It's got 16 speeds. It's got like a back gear that, uh, that's uh, for the metal cutting. It's got steel, aluminum, whatever.
going backwards. Like Thank you. 